It took two years to build the Empire State Building, four years to put up the Golden Gate Bridge. But for downtown Albuquerque's Anasazi Building, it's been seven years as the high rise stood half built for years as a monument to the recession and to corruption. But next week, it finally gets its grand opening. News 13's Alex Goldsmith is live at 6th and Central with an inside look. Alex? Dick, for years, both inside and out, the Anasazi was an eyesore. Now, just before it opens for business, no more. Follow me. Joe Corso is a true salesman. Look at the city view. You can't come here and say, I want peace and quiet. That's, that's not happening. Got an exercise bike? It's a great spot. <laughs> Corso and his business partner, Lynette Manzanares, showed us the condos, balconies, and views at the Anasazi building today. It's been a long road, but here we are. In 2007, developer Vincent Garcia started construction on the nine-story building on the corner of 6th and Central. But dreams of condos and shops vanished when the bank funding the project went under, and Garcia was caught stealing money meant for the project. So the feds took over, and the building sat unfinished for years. Unfinished until an Arizona company stepped in and made good on the building's promise. We are complete. Uh, we are we're yes. ready for sales. Now that it's completed, it's just like we've, we've, we're, we're done. We're done. That's gone. That's behind us now. It's time to move forward. One resident has moved into one of the Anasazi's 45 units. More are signed up to join him. Commercial space on the bottom floor is still being sold. The hope held by Anasazi's developers and city leaders is that a revitalized Anasazi will make for a revitalized downtown. As you have the residents coming in, you're going to see the area change for the better. That's for sure. So far, an art gallery has signed on to occupy some of the space on the Anasazi's ground floor. The hope is that a restaurant, coffee shop, or even a dry cleaner could fill up some of the other space. Back to you. Okay, Alex, right around the time he started the building at the Anasazi in 2007, the developer announced a grandiose but never fulfilled scheme for that 40-story building downtown, which would have easily been the city's tallest. Firefighters made some